welcome to the PartyPoker.net world, open four, where the poker elite have flown from around the globe for an ultimate face-off. There is over $500,000 in the prize pool. The winner gets a massive quarter million dollar check. The race is on. You look a bit stronger, Brian Gigas, a bit more intimidating. I can't say a damn thing. <laughs> Winning is everything. If you're looking to get better, you've got to come and play with the best. It's fun when you win. In this round, a spot at the semifinals is up for grabs. And for our runners-up, there is a second chance to get back in it in the turbo round. Also, nobody knows how the pros' minds tick like Neil Badby Channing. He'll be given his insights on the moves that grew. Poker. The pressure is intense. The nerve will be shaken. It can be a cruel game as the cards come down. One time, king, king, king. Do justice, <laughs> come on, where are you? Down the next four. But for the lucky few, the World Open title is now in sight as they move into the semi-finals. Tonight, another heat kicks off with a supreme lineup. This pro player from Denmark is a force on the table. He took 8th place in the 2007 WSOPE and 2 fourth places on the ETT Tour. He will be out to blow his opponents out of the water. I have a problem stepping on the brakes and I just keep on bluffing and bluffing and bluffing. This company director Anu Sarin is still finding his feet on the poker table. He'll be hoping to get a big win and start his career on a high. My family's always gambled. Uh, they've always played three card breaks since we were kids. And I've always enjoyed gambling, to be honest. And um, for me, it's just, it's just great fun. Mike Gellis is a man with four years poker experience and a win at the GUKPT on his resume. And after making it into the semi-final of the European Open 4, his confidence is on a high. At the end of last year, I, I, uh, I won the Grosvenor main event, um, which, which was my biggest win to date, and, uh, and that was, you know, that, that was great for my confidence and, and, and great for um, the bank balance as well. Paddy McCluskey is a butcher by trade, but tonight he'll be hoping to cut this pack into midst. I was saying, an average player, but lucky a few times, and that helps. You need to get lucky in the poker, you know. Christoph Haller from Austria has been playing for 26 years. His biggest achievement is winning 10 million in cash games over 15 years, and he used the money to buy a football team. My form is pretty good at the moment. I'm playing high stakes cash games in East Europe uh, most of the year, and uh, I'm doing very well there. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> Ramit Samaya, the cube, is from Leicester. His greatest achievement is never going broke. In 18 years experience, he'll be out for one tonight. What keeps me going in poker is that it's different every day. That you're learning things new every day and you're, you're faced with new challenges. The chips will flip. The yellow chips yeah, worth a yeah, thousand, yeah. the blues are two, the reds, five <laughs> K a piece. Hundred thousand per player and six hundred K on the table. Who do you uh who do you look for to sort of set the pace here? Well I think we're definitely looking at uh seat one and seat five, Jesse myself. Uh in Theo and Christoph. Nice. That's that's what we're expecting. Um it never it never seems to go that nice. way sometimes, but three. Raised to 5,000 oh, At some point, it's definitely the most active at the <laughs> table at the minute. Gonna, I know it's going to be a bit embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> and look at this. Ellis just not, he just won't stand no. for it. We raised to 18,000 total. He will not stand for it. Pass. He's a clever guy, Ellis. You know, I called his game at, at, at the beginning of the show, Jesse. I, I know exactly how he plays, and... Um, I like, I like the way he plays. He, surely he's not going to be re-raising here, is he? Is he well, thinking, it, yeah. uh, he's, he's crazy enough to, uh, that's for sure. But the Queen-10 is, is such a nice hand you, to see a flop with. You don't want to lose the opportunity to see a flop. Cool. You know, if, if he re-topped him, he moves all in and he has to pass. So. But Ellis already feeling a bit on the back foot. What's plan B? Continue ten, no matter what? Ten-eye flopper B. Look first, all right. right. Yes, you have to. It's a nice flop for Ellis because 
He can safely bet this and know he's not going to get any action unless Dio has an ace, right? Yeah, but I don't, I don't like it myself. You would have checked and perhaps called one time? Well, or? yeah, because it looks weak to me when, when you lead out to the, the original razor. You know, if he's got a big hand, he's going to check it. So this guy must be, obviously he hasn't got an hand to play, but uh, he must know in his own mind that, that Ellis hasn't got the ace. <coughs> but he hasn't got an hand to, to have a ga game with him. All, he, all he's got is his uh, And uh, obviously kahunas. the problem for Theo is that uh, oh, Ellis could have something like a diamond yeah, draw king eye. Yeah, <laughs> they could get yeah. all the chips in, yeah. right? And he'd You'd still want to check Razor it. I didn't know this question. Poker players think strange things, and no one knows their thoughts more intimately than Neil Channing. Now, Neil, this is a really interesting hand because I think it's it's about table dynamics between Theo and Mike, isn't it? It really is, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think to everyone, this is the Theo Jorgensen show, this heat. Mike spoke to me since uh, about the heat, and he told me his whole plan on the day was how he was going to play against Theo Jorgensen. This was very early on in the heat, this hand, and this was really setting the stamp for Mike of how he was going to go about his day's work. Because, I mean, 9-10 suited, you know, it's not something you want to be re-raising with in the first level, but did it make sense here? It made a lot of sense because Tao has, has come out with a game plan. He wanted to sort of test them out and sort of see who was happy to uh, stand up to him. And, and Mike wanted to show him very early on that I am happy to stand up to you. And 9-10 suited, you know, not a bad hand to do it with, although he's going to be out of position in the hand. He's, he's got something to try and work with. So is it right to have plans for certain players? I think it can be. In this hand, you know, it's, it's worked out fine. He, he, he made a good, strong re-raise. Taylor's made a slightly dubious call with Queen-10 suited, but again, he's carrying on his plan of seeing whether he can push Mike around. And the flop's come down with an ace, and, and Mike's managed to uh, win the pot. So uh, I thought it was pretty good play by Mike, really. <laughs> Coming up, a butcher, a baker, no candlestick maker. This poker game's gonna be slicing dice. I'm ever gonna have it. Welcome back <laughs> to the PartyPoker.net <laughs> award if I get a pair of four. Aces, this table's still full. It's, it's gonna be nothing yeah, full. Plus. Right. We won't accept it. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> Pass. 11. <laughs> Raised to 11,000 total. I am definitely, most definitely, folding. Pass. Another nice hand. Three stacks Heavy of lump of chips. Three raise. <laughs> Please don't. 32,000 What does it mean to you when a guy puts in chips without counting them? 21,000. No, we know how much they are. 21 to call, yeah? You know he's got a nice hand. Yeah. You know, he's just chucked them in. It. What he's right. saying is, I don't think I'm passing. When, okay. You know, when it goes in cool. like that. He's been really quiet he's and, got and new as well. We I think he's a bit of a chatterbox. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. So he's got a call up from it. Well, well, Rami ain't going to get away from this. All in. They find it very hard. How much is it? Yeah, it's going to end up being somewhere in the next. Yeah. Well, he's, he's going to get just about three to one on this call. He, I think you got me beat with the ace, but I'm forced to call. He, he's definitely priced in. Cool. Yep. Really, no matter what's up there, the nut flush draw, the straight draw. It doesn't it's feel like it's his day. No, it's always hard to pass a hand when you know you're drawing to the nuts. Um, but he's, he's got Great chips race. behind. Straight away, look, immediate service. Immediate. Huge, huge turn for Rummet. Serene drawn dead and now out. Second pair actually made it yeah, yeah, yeah. straight yeah. as well. This is what I was saying, Jesse, a few hands ago <laughs> when um, in. Paddy had the 10 queen of hearts. You know, these players, <laughs> King Jack suited, they like playing them because if you do it, the flop, you're, you're, you're going to get the lot Cheers. normally. Good luck. Good Rumble will feel like he's finally hit a card in this format and for a new, thinking, hey, it's my first time yeah. and I didn't deserve that. It's going to be one big line, though. 
Rum had called before the flop, and then once the flop came, the money was just going in. Yeah, he can't get away from it. Flush on the turn, straight on the river, which actually made Serene two pairs, but a new, new more. You can't let anybody out of this room without. <laughs> <laughs> Just five now. Nobody with the elimination, <coughs> Samaya catapulting ahead. Yeah. Brummett, Ellis, and Haller. Top three. Close. Close. The fact that Rummet now has chips, I mean, he did yeah, see. Yeah, he'll wind his 12. neck in a bit now, Grace, Jesse. You don't want to. You don't want to start frying them around, you know. He's got enough to sit down and um, relax. Hopefully, someone else gets gets knocked out. And I think the timing of Vellas, I mean, the, the thought is spot on. Okay. He's just run into it, hasn't he? Yeah. This uh, this is going to be a good hand here, Jesse. All in. Yeah. Thought All in. Ellis has um, chanced his arm coming over the top of Fio again. I can't again. let you re-bully me. Huh? I wonder, Theo was raising a lot of hands there, was Yeah, he's, like he's definitely raised the most at the table, so, you know, he, he can think he's at it, Mike. He's got every right to think he's at it. He, he may be regretting the decision he's now left himself with, I was like. Yeah. It, it did seem kind of automatic, everything up to now, but this is a tough decision. It's not very clear cut. It is tough, Jesse. I, I'll favor the, the pass myself. Pass. Yeah. Hmm. He's got enough chips to play. Well done, Ellis, especially after what well, we saw from his heat last time, in which he, he took a big I gamble on. He just um, made the decision based on different factors there, and he's still in it. Well, it's easier to, to yeah, shove him in with ace-king than it is king-jack, for oh, sure. Yeah. I need him later. So. He will need them like that. Yeah. Like, always. <laughs> I like the whole personality thing. You're playing the man. You're playing, does he look weak? You have to follow your instincts. And uh, I, I like the fact that you can win with uh, far from the best cards. And that nice bit connected with that flop. Might not have had anything to do with that. Uh, you, you look at Patty and you think, well, he hasn't been doing too much I've raising pre flop. Then 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 you look at the two guys <laughs> right. yeah. ahead of him, <laughs> Theo yeah, and Ellis. If Theo yeah. hasn't raised it, Ellis it was, has it was raised well, it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, it's like yeah. trying to get crumbs down river it's from. Uh, of course, it is. He ain't had a chance to breathe, has he? Raised 16,000 total, plus. Cool. Cool. Ah. That's what they call an insta call in the business. You play with me, but not with Theo. Wow. Nice. Mark on that card. Hmm? This one. These are a little bit stronger than uh, what Why I Why yeah. this play from Ellis? Nice, nice cards to see a flop with, Jesse. Nice cards. He doesn't want to re-raise and then find another decision. No. And he don't want to... He, you know, they're already saying you can't... Look at this again. Look. They're already saying to him you can't keep up in hand every, every time. Um, so the re-raise won't mean a what thing. What are you playing, right? It's got to be covered, haven't you? Yeah. It's got to be okay. covered by quite a bit, about 40,000 or so. But about I'll check. Have, I've check. got about 110. 22,000. 22, all in. Move, yeah. Raised yeah. all in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think he said it just as I said it. it it's got such a big draw in hand. And we obviously know room it can't play, but he's going to have to act this out a little bit. Second time Mike's made this kind of push. Not, not the check raise on the flop, but Pass. Mike's starting to give him a bit of the same problems that he's been given, that Mike's been given to Theo. And I, I think Mike's a real, he's a real bug more of more these I guys' the uh, face right now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Made the 45,000 earlier. Jeez. Hey, me? Yeah, when he cool. folded oh, that Jack moment. King, he looked wounded. Right now, oh, no, he's not really not said, Jesse, <laughs> he left himself with <laughs> enough chips to carry on play, and all of a sudden is. now he's, he's chip leader. Yeah, like sorry, I Sometimes the pressure lets up in this format, but Ian, uh, five-handed, five and ten. Yeah, this is where the, um, the gear selector yes drops down a couple of notches, the foot goes down on the gas, and you try and ease ahead Pass. now. Pass. 
27. Raised to 27,000 total. And nothing really for Theo. Well, here we go. Jeez. I mean, Elizabeth. can't see him calling. I must be thinking, I've done this so many times. Yeah, yeah. And he, it, you know, for the if Mike makes the move, he, it's going to. Close. He's going to pass Theo. Yeah. I mean, Theo's been relentless. It's Go like, in. it's nearly, it's nearly embarrassing yeah, how relentless yeah, he's yeah. been. But he's, uh. Mm. And, oh, Whoop. wow. <laughs> I don't think he'll play Paddy myself. It must be, it's really kind of unfortunate for Paddy, although you know it would have been up against <laughs> overcards, but clearly if Theo had folded, they would have got all their chips in. He's having a good think about this. I mean, obviously he realizes that the the range of these guys for the raise and re-raise is of a different caliber for from normally. Yeah. Well, he knows they've been having a pop at each other and um you know, he, if he's if he's putting them on similar hands, he, then he can talk himself into pass. putting his chips in, but not me there. Hard to pass. Mm. Another strong play from Mike Ellis. He has lived off the re-raise tonight, hasn't he? I told you that's his MO. He, you know, he, he loves it. Three quarters of a century, 75 hands have been played, only one out the door. Very, very competitive stuff. Five triers. 25. Raised to 25,000 total. <laughs> he should be embarrassed. He should be ashamed of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's unreal. Look, Mike's, they were, Mike's obviously got a bit of a decision here. He looked no. Do you remember in that, in that Poker Nations Cup, you were, it was a team event, and Theo and Gus, they tried to knock each other out. They couldn't They couldn't <laughs> come up. <laughs> Look at that move Plus. by Patty. I can't believe this. He's he's Plus. so right here. Has he been be much worse. What has he picked up here? He's so he's right, but, he, you know, he, he's, he knows he's got a call. Theo must call, but how can you do it with 10 Jack? 10 35. I don't know. Yeah, cool. I don't think he's counted his yeah. chips up properly. Let me see a pair of sixes. Mm. I like that. Ah, it's Ooh, you're ahead. Well, I had the best. Man. <laughs> it was pretty stunning stuff. I mean, Patty has got this so perfect. <laughs> I just wonder if the if the butcher Ian thought this was a a slim possibility, perhaps. He said this would do for a. Whoop. Jack High. <laughs> Jack High is going to win. You know Jack High is going to win this one. Go on the butcher. He's all in. Whoop. <laughs> and there is a possibility of a split if the deuce comes. He'll be sharpening his knife after this pot. There you go. He must have known something, Jesse. Insurance. Theo's thinking to himself, what just happened there? What's happened? Ten, Jack. I mean, the real problem for Theo is that that was uh, he obviously could have thrown away for anything other than that thirty-five thousand it cost him, and uh, he's down to eighty-five. What a spot for Patty McCloskey, though. Fantastic, one three five now. <laughs> I'd like to see him change up a few gears here now and go to work on these boys. They must be from the bridge club. Whoops. It had been a while without any premium oh. hands being out. Just picked up a few. Race to 34,000 total. Feels like a big Whoa. one. Oh, dear. It always happens, doesn't it? <coughs> oh, isn't it mad? <coughs> and this, uh, this kills Ellis. Yeah. This kills him. I wonder if Patty thinks now this is so big and he's got enough chips that maybe he should be thinking about smooth calling here to try oh, and get on. I don't yeah. know. It's all going in here. It's yeah. all going in. Serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he don't play the Jack-10, then the, the, the chips don't really hurt at this next hand. It's oh oh, Jesse, isn't it? He's only raised 22. Oh, hell, I didn't. Well, he's I announced didn't raise, so they're going to make it a minimum raise, yeah. I think. 34, so he needs another eight, so it's yeah. 68. 
What's happened here? He's, what have he's, I, what have, you've put 60 in. He didn't put right. enough in for the minimum oh, raise, uh, uh, Ian, but he did say raise good. before he put the chips in. So. Yeah. Um, off, you know, all those. It's raised to 34 total. Three raised to 60. Obviously, alarm bells are going off in Mike's head now. That's the alarm bell. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Alarm bells are going off in his head, you know. But at the end of the day, he's got Queens four-handed. That's a good question. It's amazing that <coughs> Theo and Mike have been bashing each other all day long and sort of... What's ended up happening here is Theo's given Patty the chips to bash Ellis. I mean, this is going to end up going horrible for Mike. Is that another 60? Because of the last hand. It's it's a, 67, I think. There's not, not a player in the world. Late, yeah. Yeah, that's not far, right? <laughs> 67 more. You want to cut? No, that's fine. That's fine. And right now it's 34 more. 34 more. Okay. He's trying to consider his options here, which is really admirable to start with. Is he thinking maybe there's an option of calling, seeing if the flop brings an ace or a king? Okay, I can't, I can't cool. think the guy will minimum raise with ace-king, Jesse. He pushes all in with ace-king, don't right. he? So he's got to have it in his mind that he's up against the, you know, the, the aces or kings. Well, Ellis hasn't put all his chips in yet. I think Check. he is. Check. Oh, no. I think he knows, Mike. He knows. Yeah, I've got an idea he's going to pass, you know. Oh. Couldn't be jacks. It couldn't be tens. It couldn't be ace king. Well, it can be jacks, Jesse. It can be jacks, can't it? But just the way it's been played. It does smell bigger, don't it? You know, the really great players are capable of putting down all kinds of hands. This would be... This, this would just be unbelievable, really. Mike could fold here and still have, I'm guessing, around 100,000. Obviously, if he calls, he'd be left with about 30. It's, I uh, think every, every other hand, Jesse, he re-raises all in, Paddy. Aces? Yeah, see, I think he knows. It's possible. Right. It's possible, isn't it? Anything's possible. They do happen, apparently. Jeez, he's cool under pressure, this Mike Ellis. I mean, it's really. Putting on aces. It's really impressive. Can't beat aces. Can't beat. <laughs> Can't beat aces. Can beat most other hands. I said to you, don't know how fancy you pass this. Can beat jacks, be tens. Can beat a lot of hands. And you have queens then. Or Something kings. along those lines. <coughs> this I can lay these down. I can't believe he's he's considering it this long. He's, this is some. This is something else. He's come here to win the win the heat, Jesse. You know what I mean? And he knows that um, he puts his chips in here. I think he, he's like 80, 80 he's 90 percent ace. sure he's up against aces. So if he's got that in his mind, pains me. But he what's he leave himself with? A hundred. A hundred. Well, he can still win with a hundred. He knows that. I'd like to see him pass it. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you know. Show me if I let him. I'll answer that question when you make up your mind what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good I'll answer. I'll exactly <laughs> One thing's for certain, he's definitely from Northern Ireland. Uh, well, this might go down as the worst lay down in the history of uh, no, Cardi on. Poker. Go on, world Come on, there oh. you go. Nice oh, pass. I'm flipping over if it's a Queens. Nice pass. There's no way in hell I can make that angle. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's why that's, he's uh, that is, good time. I mean, Mike just came oh, back yeah. from the, uh, the Bellagio hey, 25,000 deep oh, stack event. Oh, I mean, oh, oh, oh. what a sharp game he oh, played. Oh, Fatty gets the money. <laughs> um, that's 
It's, it's, it's the best lay down a, we, we've seen this morning. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sorry, I this guy's given him every yeah, opportunity to lay it down, Jesse. 95, thank you, Catherine. Yeah. What happened there? Yeah. Well, I've never folded Queen's pre flop. Never, never, ever, Neil. <laughs> but, I mean, Mike Ellis, cool, shrewd. How'd he figure it out? Um, I don't know. It was made a lot harder by Paddy McCluskey uh, making, making a bit of a mess of his raise pre flop. I think Ian Fraser in commentary said, well, he's done a minimum raise, that must be kings or aces. But I think it was accidental, the minimum raise. He, he, he did a kind of a string bet and he was pulled up and he had to do a minimum raise. But I think Mike figured it out pre-flop. So, um, yeah, it was a very impressive pass by Mike. And, I mean, is it just a question of this is poker? You have to put it all together, put the puzzle together and follow your instincts? Yeah, I think that's important. And also, it's a very important lesson to all players a lot of people spend a lot of time thinking about what they've got in their hand. Your hand's only important relative to what the other guy's hand is. If you've got queens, it's not a very good hand against aces, but it's a really good hand against jacks. And, and Mike, he knew something was up. And I, I, I think, yeah, I, hats off to him. The, the other thing that I, I was thinking was very interesting was if, if he is up against jacks or tens, which is a possibility, he's a mile in front here. And if he lays it down, he's going to look an idiot on national TV. And, and this is a big factor, you know, if he's in a, a small tournament where there's no cameras, he can just pass his hand and no one's going to know and he doesn't have to tell anyone. Um, this one's going to be noticed. There you go. All in. Stick around. You get a couple of cards. Oh, you'd like I to see will it. have to go all in. Wow. All in. There you go, see. Pass. Now, I hope this is, is all not... All um, he's all in. I'm all moving all in. It's end of Pass. his little bit. Of, you know, he's picked up Ace King. Got a horrible feeling oh Theo's going to hit here. Yeah. you got a squeezing hand. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound good for my two aces, if you're squeezing one of my aces. Mm. And uh, Theo obviously trailing way behind, but couldn't get it out. Feeling like so, got so far ahead of the range. When do I ever get ace queen? Cards have them, please. It can't be that. Oh. Cool. Oh. Wow. He's got That's a few a left, so you're one said, but for Samaya, what a spot ace this king. is to get back in the game. Oh, fantastic opportunity, but I just got a horrible stuff. feeling about it. What? You folded a pair of nines. Is that what you're saying? Ah. <sighs> Not a good flop. <laughs> oh, I could double pair, yeah. you a lot with the deuce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, the deuce for the split. <laughs> <laughs> deuce, jack. jack, nine. Or the Samaya double up. King I should have had He's doubled up. up. King and the jack. Well right done, Rumi. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big blind for Theo. Yeah, it's going to be very tough. <laughs> and to if it goes back, raise, 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 raise. Back. <laughs> I'm definitely in. <laughs> yeah, he needs to finally get the value. Yeah, that's true. He may not look. He may not care. 30. Raise to 30,000 total. Don't like this play at all from Mike. He because just, he's got everyone to act behind him. But what's he doing? He, he knows Theo's going to call. Uh, what was that, Mike? Whatever. Sorry? You know, and if someone else picks up hand behind him, he's just done 30 Oh, he's in already, right? Paddy all of a sudden thinking about peeling off a flop. Yeah, yeah, I really don't like I thought he was just going to um, cook where if he don't calls, the in. other guy's going to push. All in. You see what I mean? Now he's done Plus. 30k. Hey, who's yeah, going to end up being a great shot. Come on, baby. I don't know what Theo has, but as he has two cards over a five, now all of a sudden he's going to get a chance to triple up. But you know he's not folding any two, really. I call. Cool. Oh, he's got his Yeah. And it's exactly what you said about what's happened to Ellis here. He, he yeah, just got a hold of a couple you know, of chips. He's made a fantastic play Five just now with the coins, Jesse, and then he's gone and give 30 uh, away. Oh, I was I was Ooh. I what a hand to find. Oh. Your hand. Look at how many chips are in this pot. I mean, <laughs> Jurgensen all in, but look at how many chips know, are in this pot. I'd right. like him to win. Makes yeah. me not too happy about my coins. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Nothing good hit as well. Get a pair of sixes, it'd have been alright. 
Ace or king or the Dane goes down. Wow, it's looking grim. Yeah. The Reaper's in the wings. Yeah. We Good luck, gentlemen. Good game. Okay. I think he played fantastic, Jesse. Shame uh, he went out there. You know, he's picked up a nice hand in the, in the big blind when he had, when he was committed. Um, shame. Good there are five. Another one for Batty. Yeah. Another feather in his cap. The dangerous Dane has gone down in fifth and with four left. Patty's got a healthy lead on the rest of them. And Ellis is going to have to fight from behind. Unfortunately for me, I was, I was getting a lot of big hands in the beginning, so everybody was convinced I was bluffing. I, I was bluffing a little, but uh, it would have been so much easier if I had a tight image. But I had huge hands in the beginning, so I had to play them, and then suddenly everybody was convinced I was bluffing. And that kind of ruined my game later on, because then I had to slow down. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 4. Lost two. These four are right in it. When they were in the green room 35. before this game Race, started, uh, really everybody kind of knew at least one other person there. Patty was standing around. No one was even sure if he was in the heat, really. And uh, like <laughs> he's coming here. <laughs> he's, right now he's tearing them to Race, bits. All in. All in. A thousand. Well, the question is how much is it? I think Kristoff has enough where he feels oh, like. Feels like you might get some hands pass. Yeah, sixty-five thousand more. Suppose after call. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. More than two to one. Yep, after call. Call. Cool. Okay, gentlemen. It's all come much. down to this for okay, the German. We have a race. <laughs> Just one time, he says, and Rummet feeling pretty much the same way. I guess you kind of always feel like that when you're in a race, don't you? Just start remembering all the ones you lost. Well, that ain't a bad flop yeah, for him. Something for everyone. Plenty <laughs> <laughs> about. That's me. Fifteen. We've got fifteen cards to it. Plus, we get a, a nine or a queen come here as well. We get a few more. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable how you do it. But yeah, you're right. Now it's down to 40%, 39 anyway. Whoop. Heart. Oh. Right. How yeah. did I miss yeah. all those, uh, say the cube? And. I didn't think it would ever win a coin flip, yeah. Well, it got better and better for me, though, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah. The turn is the first time I'm favored. Christoph has diced him in half. And that's. I'm just thinking, geez, up, down, up, yeah, down. I think he's got about 80 behind now. Mm, on this you one. need to have a strong stomach to play this. Haller certainly looks like he's got one of them. So mm, Foskey's yeah. still on top. Yeah, put Christoph on the 207, so he'll be double pleased with that. Eh? He wouldn't have fancied it too much after the flop for sure. He moved with queen nine, same position, same hand. Oh. Jack eight oh. suited. And it's... Uh, you like it better. It's better for him because uh, he knows Rumit don't want to be giving any of these oh. chips away. He's only got 80,000. Right. Pass. Oh, well, what a lovely hand to pick up. Look at this. Oh. Ah, cool. Cool. Well, he didn't sweat him. Okay, gentlemen. Oof. It's the single over, and I don't know if this is his chance to <coughs> get a few more to get back in it, ruin it. Ellis, uh, obviously, he could have easily been out about 25 hands ago with the Queens. Gave himself another shot or two, but now down. I think he's shot his bolt this time, Jesse. Yeah. Let's get a six out of there. Now down to just the jack. Any of the jacks, though. Oh, okay. oh, Good game, Mike. Well, I think he played fantastic heat, Jesse, you know, and uh, the big lay down, but 
the 10 jack will probably stick in his mind. Do you know what I mean? 30,000 there. He put himself right under pressure for the rest of the heat. You know, we saw Theo. He, he made one mistake, didn't he? He scored with ace nine. Mike made one mistake. It was both of their downfalls. Um, apart from that, they play superb. You, you must concentrate beyond the be on your game all the time. Raise. 35,000 total. Christoph has Pass. fit that bill so far. Um, very steady sort of. Hmm. See now, if he finds a re-raise here, Paddy, do you think Christoph would call? I don't oh, like I don't this at all. Can. I can't have this play at all, Jesse, three-handed. I, I know we're seeing the ace-nine. Forget um, Christoph's hand. But, um, Unless Paddy's playing stop and go? Some of some. Well, it's well, going to kill him now, isn't it? Finito. Yeah, yeah you called it. This is, this is. And it. This makes it. Even slightly more difficult. For Patty because. Um, the worst. Thing. You would actually want to be betting without the ace here if you're Patty, don't you? Of course, what do you yeah. Think do? The worst thing, obviously, Christoph, mind. Uh, if he's giving him the opportunity of, uh, you know, the, of having the ace, there's two undercards there. So he might have hit two pair. He knows he ain't got a big ace, otherwise he'd have repopped him. Yeah, I think that's all running through his mind at the minute. Look, oh, yes. yeah, all he's in. got a raise. I mean, you raise can't. All in. It's it's too big a hand. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. If Patty can throw this away. Pretty special. This is just one of those hands, Ian, where if you delay the difficult decision, then you're going to have to make it down the line when the pot's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I didn't like the call from the start. You know, um, he either had to pop him there or pass him in my eyes. Very, it's in very my opinion, before I get Greek fished on the blog, <laughs> <laughs> can he can he can he pass this here? McCloskey well, will have oh about a hundred and he must know he's left. behind Jesse, mustn't he? What would you be thinking? You got to put the guy on an ace, and you've been cold. Oh there. no, I mean I I put him on king queen of clubs and get my money in first. Of all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's me. That's messy, Jesse. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's having a nice good think about it. Oopsie daisy. Well, I think he wants to see exactly what it'll cost him. Exactly what he'll have left. He did have about a 65,000 edge on Kristoff before this hand started. And I guess... Cool. Oh, wow. I was going to say, I, I guess one of the problems is um, he had to also think yeah, about second so place. Feel. And the turbo. Now there are there are a couple split pots in here. I knew the nine's not say such that, a Jesse. big kicker. Had it on know you was going to say that. Eleven percent of the time. <laughs> what about four? What a spot for Kristoff. And that's uh, that's taking the split pots out of the equation. It's got to be a five. Or else Kristoff doubles up. And a huge, wow, huge double up for the now. German. Yeah. You can see that smile. He's been he's been pretty worthy tonight. Ninety-five. He deserves this. Yeah, he had a, a little. I think he had about a forty-minute spell where he yeah. went a bit cold there, Jesse. He grinded it out, and um, look at him now. Yeah, had to make had to make Top one tree. one double through with the small pocket pair to re-raise, and now four hundred seven. Tough to lay down, hmm? Tough to lay down there. Not really. I think I've been saying from the start I fancy this guy to win. <laughs> <laughs> You're different, Klaus. Well, not many hands that you know, would beat me and not be realized before. Yeah. Oh, okay, man. Poor Patty. It, yeah, he's a mincemate now. Ice is, yeah. They've put him, they've chopped him, they've put him in that sausage machine. Ground the wheel round. There you go. That said, Ace is a tough 35. hand. To, anything that's not ace Price, king is a very tough hand to play three-handed, or maybe anything that's lower than ace ten three-handed. You know the, yeah. those raggedy aces. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, we, we yeah. said there was going to be a virtual cold deck in a minute, and that was about as close as you was going to get. But you could have got away from it. I yeah. think, I, you know, room it said that's a. It would have been a very tough pass, and he said not really. So I think he was. Had nearly, he said that? Yeah, yeah I was think close. he was nearly passing Jesse. You know, especially when the guy um, re-raises him again. You know, he he knows he's got to be up against it. He raised all in. Yeah, well, he's gone all in here. He had a little look at everything and exactly sure what the decision was based on it. Is this going to be, is this going to be room it's a bit of favour or not? We said he lacks that little bit of luck at the end. Well, this is as close to the end as it's going to get for him to get into the last two. Yeah. He's a must call. Is that all right? Okay. Just a nice. That he might have been thinking, you know, he's going to have to take on Rummit if he wants to get in the second. you've got. Not, uh... Look at his face. Oh, no accidents, he's saying. Just hold up one more time, baby. Unya. Not leave enough. He'll be very pleased Hopefully. with that. He certainly will. This is end of the line stuff for the butcher, but there's a sausage on the wall if the queen or seven comes. <laughs> sausage on the wall. Hanging on. Ooh. Good game, Paddy. Oh, He's been a bit of a revelation. Paddy McCluskey tonight. Yeah, this guy uh, single-handedly turned the heat completely upside down. Um, he's got to be pleased with, with how he done, Jesse, I think. I can imagine. <laughs> it's going to be a very fair fight. Heads up. Two guys who both say they are due. This. They're picking up their share of aces. 55. Raised to 55,000 total. All in. All in? Jesus. This is unreal. He's had, the, he's had the knock on him every time. He's, he's going to start feeling a bit of grief, Christoph. This is a significant, significant one. He's, a, he's actually a, a massive underdog, if he calls it. Cool. Oh, cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's getting better for me, but I don't know what. Oh, yeah. Wow. You think he could have folded that one? It's a real good chance now. Hard oh, oh, wow. Heads up. Kind of We've conscious. had this situation three times. They have, but this has been the biggest favorite Nothing's that anything. Samaya has been. Now he is all in again. And those face cards increase the chances of the splitter. The king would end it. That's well, ended it. He needs a king, king now. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, that's a king, big eh? swing. Ooh. It was. Feel for Kristoff. He's picked up uh, three aces on the button yeah. in six hands. And, and been dominated every one, <laughs> Jesse. Every how would you feel? Well, I, I know exactly what he's going to do. He's going he's gonna to figure out what the odds of that are. 70, 181. Well, right now, it don't feel too good. feels great for Rummit. He's in shock. He looks like he's in shock. Christoph's down to one, oh, one, sorry, two. Yeah. yeah, he can almost put the blindfold on and have a swing at him here. Yeah. yeah. All in. All in. Same hand. See food. Yeah. King crab. Cool. Against the queen eight. Not much. King high. <coughs> no, That's good. plenty so far. Good so far. Yeah. And this is the I chance. Cube. Semi final awaits him. Stoss played well. But what's to be? Yeah, he hasn't really looked in any danger, has he? No. Whoops, shouldn't have said oh, that. <laughs> Jeez. <Yeah. laughs> that was a hard thing to say. <laughs> the king? No, pair, pair. Oh, and. <laughs> and Seventy-eight. Haller allows himself a little smile. Seventy-eight. Back to the drawing board for both players. That was the shot. That was the shot. That was. Now it's uh, trying to earn another one for either player. Seventy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is how they started off, but the other way round, Jesse. Mm. Uh, a two-to-one chip lead for Christoph. Yeah. 
He is keeping the pressure on the cube, isn't he? He is, yeah. And what is Haller's thought here? Same, same, same kind same of race. Yeah. Roll in. Oh. He's a tough guy to predict. How much is it? Yeah. 151. Welcome. Please. He's thinking. Obviously, he wants, to know, to, he wants to know how much it is. He wants to take a shot, Jesse. I think he wants to get this over with. 131 more. 131 more, yeah? More. Well, I'm going to... Put your cards in the glass, please. Yep. Thanks. I'm going to call and hope I'm live. Cool. Yep. Wow. Seems like a loose call, but I'm maybe live. that's because we know what Kristoff has. Can I get lucky? You might have thought that Kristoff's range is a lot wider than that. Oh, okay, go on. <laughs> Whatever he had, he's, you know, Jack 9, he's, he's yeah. Yeah. Let's take a shot. He, the fact is, it's. I, I think the pot's. I think I the like pot's just chances. just about a three hundred exactly, and that might have been the deciding factor. Wow, look at this first. Oh. That's not a bad flop. <laughs> yeah. He's done it. That's a great. Boy. Boy. Great. That's, it. That's uh, the nuts. That's, the nuts. That's it. Yeah. They're not yep. straight there anyway. Oh, I don't believe what it. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Chris. Mm -hmm. Nice playing with just, you. Okay. He just wanted to get it over with Jesse, and he's you know oh. he's called it at the right oh. time. He nice just, bit of timing for him, yeah. and uh, he's won the heat. I hope they'll give, time. Hopefully <laughs> I'll give you that eight back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. pleased for him. I mean, Christoph's played a great game tonight. He'll be back in the turbo. That last pot, the call by Rummett to the all-in, Ian. Just, just felt it. Just felt yeah. that he needed well, to take a shot. Well, we could see he was, he was getting a bit frustrated, Jesse. You know, he, he had it all in three times with the best, and um, he thought, I'll, I'll come from behind this time, see what happens. It can happen to you. Although, Ramit, I'm sure there were some times, not only during your poker career, but during this heat, where you thought it was you were never going to get through. Well, I, I was, my, st my chip stack was just up and down all, th all throughout the tournament. And, uh, you know, I built up early, then got knocked back to 70, went back up. And uh, it's such a relief to finally win a heat. Here. Congratulations. Christoph, commiserations. Did you feel like you had to really step it up early? Uh? I, I didn't play that many hands in the beginning. I thought, you know, just wait a while and see how it's going. And I could almost win every hand I was in. So, you know, even having holding nothing, I was betting and... Uh, nobody found a hand against me, so they keep, kept passing, and I got up to like 150,000 and felt confident, you know, that I could do something with it. You know, one coin flip, and I'm there. Ramit, uh, I mean, now you're finally into the, the money stages of one of these events. Uh, you, you're feeling good about the semifinals? Absolutely, I'm feeling very confident. I had a good night's sleep last night. <laughs> I didn't go to the bar, I went to bed about 9 o'clock, had a good night's sleep, and I think maybe we'll, we'll continue with that. A recipe for success, <laughs> perhaps. Good luck in the semifinals, and Christoph, of course, another chance in the turbos for you to get in. Right smack in the middle of that $576,000 prize pool is Rummet Samaya. The semi-final lineup starting to feel complete, though there's two heats to go. In the next heat, the cat's in the well when buzzer's on the bill, and he who can turn water into wine can wine all he wants. You're going to show or not? Yes or no? I have the right answer is here. It's one time. Just this one time. I'll show you if you call. Here on the PartyPoker.net World Open Pool.